Welcome guys, today we are going to be going through the 29 Greek Factions AOR and Unique Units. Now if you are a Greek Faction in-game, you should be able to recruit a lot of these units if you capture these cities. And it also adds a load of Unique Units to the 29 smaller unplayable factions. If you haven't checked out the first part of this video, go and check it out in the description below. You can see a load of other unique units there as well, but these are even more that they've added into the game. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed and we already know why we're here, don't we? So let's get into the video. But first things first, a massive thank you to Balbor for getting these units ready personally. He has made all of these units, guys. So huge kudos to him. Give him a thumbs up in the comments. Very nice indeed. And he very kindly got them ready as quick as possible so I could do this video for you. So massive thank you to him. Of course, a lot of these smaller factions do have other unique units, guys, that we discussed in the previous video. So check that out. And if you haven't checked out the 29 Greek factions deep dive go and check that out with Mausolos that was so interesting and you'll learn a lot of history about why these uh, factions are in the mod uh, and what they're doing there and why they have some of the unique units that we have here today so let's start off with Taras Tarentum down in southern Italy and these guys have the Italiote Hoplites and what I love about these guys is just those helms look at those helms really cool Indeed, with the plumage going across, the mohawk plumage, very nice, really do love them. With the bronze breastplates as well, looking stunning in the sunshine here, with really nice shields as well. Again, unique shield designs for all these guys, very cool indeed. Now, if you notice, some of these stats might be a little different from what you've seen before, and that's because they have re-engineered and redone a load of the stats for the Greek units, Primarily because, you know, some Greek nations had professional soldiers, some had uh, levy soldiers and everything in between. So a lot of these factions are going to have slightly different stats now. So it adds even more uniqueness to these factions and the AOR units that you can recruit there. So really cool indeed. So let's have a look at the Italian hot potatoes. Italiote hot potatoes, should I say. 35 defense. 7 armor, 20 defense skill, and 8 shield. Big shield for these boys. 14 morale, 10 melee attack, and 11 missile attack. So not the greatest attack for these boys, but good defense nonetheless. And a standard, pretty standard Hoplite unit. And looking really cool. I really do like the look of these boys. So onto the Italiote Epibarti as well. Look at the big Thurios shields these boys have. I like your beard, sir. Very nice indeed. And again, similar plumage. Very nice plumage. This guy is, is yeah. He doesn't like the sun. He does not like the sun. <laughs> Go on, my friend. He's staring at the sun. He's staring at the sun. Praise the sun, my friend. Praise the sun. But anyway. Uh, and this guy just is going crazy. But anyway. <laughs> the Italio Epibarti. Very cool looking unit again. And these guys are a bit more elite. The more elite sort of unit but the epibarti are marines so these guys are light infantry and this is a really 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 good marine unit i've got to say guys a really fantastic marine unit 15 morale 11 melee attack and 13 missile attack with their two javis 32 defense so not a huge amount of defense uh, but that attack uh, with the swords of course the swords always do more damage than the spears and that missile attack and that morale this is a really decent Epibarti unit and looking very cool as well. I love the bronze breastplates. Again, these tiny details, I'm going to talk about them a lot, are just fantastic in this mod, aren't they? Some of the most beautiful units you'll ever see in any mod. And just think about the fact that it's on an engine that's 20 years old, guys. How glorious indeed. So let's move on to Issa, which is an um, Illyrian faction in modern day Croatia and actually has a very interesting history so like I say check out the deep dive yesterday and you'll learn a lot of history about all of these little factions and I love the look of these guys I love the blues going through because if you zoom out you think oh they've all got the same shield but then you zoom in and bang no way do they have all the same shield all different shields really cool designs on the shields as well ah the goats the Goats of Crete. <laughs> that was one of the most interesting things from that deep dive video that I uh, really enjoyed 
learning about <laughs> the goats of Crete. And these guys have a lot of plumage, as we can see. And there's quite a bit of capage as well. Very nice. I love the plumes. I love those plumes. But as you can see, these guys don't have armor. And that is because primarily the enemies they were facing in Illyria were unarmored as well. So they didn't need armor. What they needed was speed. And that's why these guys don't have armor, of course. But they have a really cool helmet, as you can see. Quite a unique design. We've not really seen this sort of rounded off plumed helmet over here uh, before. I don't believe anyway. But yeah, really cool unit nonetheless. 30 defense, of course, really hampered by that lack of armor there, but some good defense skill. So these guys would be very good against armor-piercing units. 13 morale, not fantastic, and 10 melee attack, again, not fantastic. So a standard, pretty standard uh, early game hopper unit, but a really cool-looking helms on these boys, and really nice shields as well. Very cool, indeed. But next to them, we have the Isaian Epibartai. So these guys are marines again. And you can see the difference between the Marines of uh, <laughs> of the Italio Epibartai. Two very different units over here. And these guys are, in fact, Slingers. So a Slinger Marine unit with 14 defense, so not a huge amount of defense, mainly coming from that uh, shield and defense skill. Not a huge amount of armor, just the helms they've got on their heads. Ooh, that's a nice helm. Look at that one. Ooh, yes. Very nice indeed. Uh, but yeah, four morale, not great. Seven melee attack and four missile attack. So probably better than your average Greek slinger, but not, you know, not a fantastic unit in melee uh, at all. So if you want these guys as slingers, of course, really good, uh, good option as a slinger unit. And again, the really cool different shields. This one especially looks really nice. I'm assuming that's the golden lion that Hercules uh, Hercules, uh, or Heracles, as you want to say it in Greek, um, gets the, gets the coat of, so the golden fleece of, but yeah, very nice indeed, very cool unit, uh, and yeah, I love the marine units, because there's so much variation in them, and we are about to see another marine unit, <laughs> so here we are, across the Byzantium, guys, the city of world's desire, for many of you. Many of you EU4 stands out there will absolutely love a bit of Byzantium uh, gameplay. But yes, lots of people very keen on Byzantium. And we can see this is the faction icon down here as well, as you can probably see in the top right corner anyway. Uh, but yeah, these guys, another Epibartai unit, another Marines unit, and they are a bit more armored than our previous Marines that we've just uh, seen, the Slinger Marines. And again, they are Slingers. So, four morale, not fantastic, but seven melee attack, four missile attack with those load of ammo, load of stones um, in their little bum bags. And, yeah, 20 defense, though, for a slinger unit is absolutely glorious. These guys are going to be a very good slinger unit, com especially compared to the, uh, to the uh, standard Greek slingers, if I can speak. I wanted to say Cretan then, but, yeah, the Cretans are good. Uh, but, yeah, the Byzantine Epibartai. Really cool unit indeed, and I love the shields once again. Very nice with the trident. Big Poseidon, uh, a very strong theme with uh, Byzantium. And again, cool helmets, looking really cool. Got their bum bags. This guy just looks completely just like, like lifeless. <laughs> He's just like, I can't believe I'm here. It's very sunny, it's very hot, and I don't want to fight at all. Uh, but on to... The next guys, which is Gortin, one of the many Cretan factions. And Crete, honestly, was so interesting in the deep dive. So do check that out, even if you just want to check out the Cretan uh, side, because it was so very, very interesting. We have the Gortinian archers. And you can see they've got these tiny little shields. Some of them are armored with the Lenothorax. Some of them not. Some of them have helms. Some of them just hats. I guess unlucky for some with their just their hats. Uh, but yeah, really cool unit indeed. And here they are. Seven morale, which is really good for a standard archer. Nine melee attack, nine missile attack, which is decent as well. And 160 missile range. So they've got long range missiles and 22 defense guys, which is fantastic for an archer unit. Really fantastic. So a good unit, a really good archer unit indeed and close by we have the gortinian agali 
which is very similar to the Ephebes in terms of its unit. It's a very similar sort of concept sort of the young lads in the uh, in the nation getting trained up to become a more professional soldier like the Gortinian archers over here. So these guys are a spearman archer unit. Very cool indeed. Uh, slightly worse than the archers as we can see, but that is because they are the young boys getting trained up to become the archers. So obviously going to be a bit cheaper and yeah, Really cool looking unit though. And you can tell about the same amount of armor. They've got some different helms on this time. These helms with the curved top. Very cool. With a Look at the details again. Just those tiny details, guys. Just really do make such a difference in this mod. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Looks absolutely glorious. But yeah, these guys are really, really cool unit. 17 defense, which is still really good. A lot better than the standard Greek archers. So... By no means are they a bad archer. They're just not quite as good as the Gortinian or the Cretan archers. Uh, so, yeah, probably an early game unit for you. And they're going to do well on the battlefield. And again, they look fantastic. This guy's like, oh, damn. But anyway. <laughs> Seven missile attack. Again, they have long-range missiles, which is glorious. Those long-range missiles do really make a difference in-game, guys, if you've never seen them before. And we go across to Nosos. We have seen Nosos before, they've got plenty of uh, unique units, and again, another Cretan faction. And again, we start with the Nosian archers, and I believe they are very similar to the Gortinian. Yeah, they are just the, the Nosian version of the Gortinian archers. Of course, a lot of their designs, they've got the Minotaur on there, and they've got the Labyrinth, because of course, the Nosians uh, are known for where the uh, tale of the Minotaur of Crete is from. So the Nossian archers, very cool indeed, and you're going to see that theme throughout their unit roster. Lots of bulls, lots of minotaur heads, and lots of labyrinths, which I think is really cool, and they do look very unique compared to a lot of the other Greek factions. Very nice indeed. But a standard archer. We've already gone through their stats with the Gortinians, so on to the next one, and we have the Nossian Agalai, which is the same again as the uh, Gortinian Agalai, same again, stats, but just a unique version again of these guys. And really cool uh, um, shields once again. I do really like the uh, the throwback to the Minotaur, to the Minotaur of Crete. Um, so yeah, really, really cool indeed. Really nice units and very unique shields. I do really like those shields throwing back. There. So on to Kaidonia, guys, and we will also have a couple of units from Litos when we come back on to the map. So we've got the Kaidonian archers again, another unique uh, Cretan faction with the same stats as the previous archers that we've seen. And again, the, the very different shield designs and designs on these boys and the different colors going through the units. Call it sort of a burnt bronze, a uh, burnt sort of red for these guys, which is really cool indeed. I just love how different all these units look. And of course, you know, they look similar in terms of their equipment, but just the different colors, the different designs, the different designs and uh, different sort of artwork that goes on with these guys. It's really cool to see and how unique and good they look. Just they look fantastic, don't they? They look really, really, really good. So another one from Kaidonia on Crete once again. So let's go back across if I <laughs> if I don't start moving that around too much. And we'll go up to Olbia. Now, Olbia is in the northern Black Sea uh, in southern Ukraine. And uh, these guys have a few different units. They have the mixed Hellenic archers. And if we look at these guys, very nice indeed. They are a Scythian and Greek um, unit. Uh, and you can see completely different style of bow, the Scythian style of bow. And I wonder if we can see their weapon. If I just put that on slow motion, if I can get them to draw out their secondary weapon. We literally just have a... Uh... <laughs> so here we are, and I have managed to get them to draw out that secondary weapon because it looks so cool. It's like a pickaxe. <laughs> Uh, slash hand axe. It's really cool. And you can see why then that these guys get armor piercing secondary weapon. Because imagine that hitting into your armor. It is going to crush your armor. It is going to pierce that armor. 
it is really going to do some serious damage. A very cool unit indeed. Like I said, the Scythian and Greek mix. Unfortunately, they are only four morale. <laughs> 8 melee attack, although it's armor piercing. 8 missile attack from their bows, which is decent again. And long range missiles, not much defense, but a really high charge bonus for these guys. So more of a sort of shock troop if you have to get them in melee. But like I say, not the greatest of archers, but that armor piercing unit just makes them very unique and very, very cool. And I do love the design as we've got a mix of Greek equipment in here, like you can see. With the Scythian sort of robes, the Scythian uh, helms that are very uh, uh, seen across the Thracians as well a little bit. And yeah, really cool. And I love, look at that. That is really, really nicely designed, that quiver there. Very cool indeed. Really, really nice unit. Very, very unique and something that we've not really seen before. So let's have a look at the Olbio Polite Archers. And where are we in terms of the Olbio Polite Archers? So that is Nossians. Oh, so we're over here. Sorry. <laughs> there we are, guys. Losing place of where we are. And we've got the Olbio Polite Archers. So this is a fully Greek archer unit. And again, six morale, seven melee attack, and nine missile attack with long range missiles once again. And again, 20 defense, a really good defense. And these guys do have quite a unique. Uh, look as well because they've got big shields, but the shields are on their backs and we've not seen that too much And look at that from the back. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Really cool indeed grains dolphins horses uh, Eagles <laughs> or Odin. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, really really nice nice unit uh, and these are the Greek archers. But they do again have this Scythian style bow and the Scythian style qu uh, quiver Really showing the influence of the Scythians in this region for even the Greek settlers there as well. Very nice indeed. And next to them, we have the Olbio Polite Hoplites. And again, these guys, they've got some decent armor, but they don't look too armored. Uh, but I'm guessing it's the guys with the Linothorax and all that sort of thing. 14 morale, 10 melee attack, and 36 defense. So again, going back to quite a standard hoplite from as in the greek hoplites that's very similar to this and really unique the greens going through these guys a lot as you can see a lot of greens and turquoises with these boys which is uh, quite nice to see we're not seeing too many factions that have a lot of green going through them so really cool indeed and look at them they just look fantastic don't they once again really nice really 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 nice so on to the next one uh, which will be Histria. So here we are with Histria. And that again is on the Black Sea coast. Not quite as far north as Ukraine. More sort of modern day Romanian coast. And yeah, the Istrian archers. That's what these guys have got. Uh, uh, plus any of the other units that they had in the previous video as well. And these guys look fully Greek. A bit further down. So again, these guys have gone back to being fully, fully Greek. No influences here too much from Thracians, from Dacians, and from Scythians. But yeah, really nice. I love these guys because they're really well armored. You can see 7 armor stat for these boys. 23 defense, 9 missile attack, which is long range missile, 6 morale, 7 melee, and again, long range missile. So this actually is a fantastic archer unit. And really good to get if you're going against the Scythians in the north of the Black Sea. Definitely worth checking these guys out. If you do get access to AOR, recruit them because very good unit. Look at them. And they look fantastic again. As always, as all these units do, they look fantastic. So let's move on to Praini. And I actually learned in the, uh, in the video yesterday that came out yesterday... That these guys were the one and only sort of Greek faction that actually stood up to the Galatians invasion when the Galatians invaded at the uh, request of the Bithynians um, into modern day middle of Turkey. Um, so yeah, these are, these are hard fuckers because they were the only ones that stood up to the Galatians. Everyone else got inside their cities and hid, whereas these guys actually went out and tried to meet them in battle. So these guys, really cool. I really do like the history 
down there. Opposite Militos, of course, and Militos, again, uh, if you don't know, was a very significant colonizing Greek city uh, on the coast, just opposite the bay to Priene, and they hated each other. So, <laughs> really cool indeed. 13 morale, 29 defense, not a huge amount of armor on these Prienean Ephibes. But again, the Ephibes are the young lads, the young boys, going to fight um, uh, for the city to try and learn the ropes and training up to become a fully-fledged hoplite. So, as you can see, not a huge amount of armor. And we've got, again, these sort of Thracian caps on these guys, showing influences from elsewhere that they have managed to uh, get. And that, oh, look at that shield. That is a fantastic shield. That is really, really, really nice. I love that shield. But again, unique shield designs once again for these boys. And again, quite unique. Uh, and we see sort of this hairstyle as well, which hasn't been very common to see. Uh, across a lot of the Greeks. Normally, it's like this. So, again, they've got a unique sort of hairstyle with these boys as well, which is nice. Uh, but, yeah, very unique unit, the Prianians. And, like I said, hard guys, because they fought the Galatians. On to the Prianian Hoplites. Ah, oh, these guys look great, don't they? With the linothorax on, the sun shining down. They look fantastic. Really nice. And unique uh, designs on the shields again. Again, Sheila Buff has been re represented in these videos. And he's there every time. Every time he comes. And uh, every time he looks slightly more unhinged. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, a good unit. 35 defense, 14 morale, 10 melee attack. So just a standard hoplite unit from early game. Got to do all right early game. But really nice looking units after all. I just love how clean these guys actually look. They look more uniform than a lot of other of the other hoplites, showing that they are a more trained, well-trained, and sort of professional-looking unit than a lot of the others. Uh, so really, yeah, you can see the uniformity in these boys rather than the sort of different amounts of armor that we've seen with some of the other ones with different differing armors and stuff. So these boys a bit more professional, bit more professional. A bit more of a standing army sort of situation over here. And very cool indeed. So let's move on to Sinope. And we have the Sinopian Epilectoi uh, over here. Who are the elite citizens, of course. But these guys from Sinope, although Sinope is on the far northern uh, tip of Anatolia, right in the middle and of modern-day Turkey. Um, it's called Sinop now, <laughs> so not too much difference in the naming from modern day to ancient times. Uh, but these guys had to borrow equipment from Rhodes as they didn't have their own or the ability to make their own. So they just look like regular hoplites, even though they're elite, they're an elite unit. So even though they've got really good stats, they had to borrow equipment from Rhodes itself to, uh, to equip these guys in battle. And I just love those little details, those little historical details that really do set this apart from a lot of other mods. Those tiny little details are fantastic to see, aren't they? Uh, but yeah, really cool looking unit. Again, they look like a standard hoplite, but if we look at their stats, they are in fact a really decent unit. 39 defense, 23 defense skill. So even with the 8 armor, they're going to do well against armor-piercing units. 15 morale and 11 melee attack. Like I say, they're going to not... Hoplites, guys, and Epilectoi, if they have spears, are always going to do a little bit worse against sword units because swords have bonuses against spears. Uh, but still a decent, uh, a decent sort of spear unit here. Mid-game spear unit. Very nice indeed. So if you get Sinop, you get access to those boys. And next to them, we have the Sinopian Epibartai. So another Marines unit. And this Marine, of course, is a uh, Slinger Marine. Four morale, so not fantastic morale. Seven melee attack, four missile attack. And again, 140 missile range, but 14 defense for these boys. A lot of it from the defense skill and shield. A little bit of armor because of the helms they've got on their heads. And again, unique shield designs. We've got the... Um, the ship hull there. The eye as well. Uh, but yeah, cool looking shield designs once again. And yeah, another Epibartai unit ready to go 
and fight. Do remember, though, with all these missile units, guys, you can see they have 82 uh, units or 81 compared to the 122. So even if, you know, an Epibartai has some decent melee, it might be down 40 men in the melee as well. But these Epibarte, the Italio ones, actually do have 122. So it just depends on what type of unit they are by how many troops they have. Of course, you know, those numbers will change if you're playing on ultra, medium, or small as well. I'm playing on large, I believe. Uh, but yeah, on to maybe a little bit of a sneak peek of a, of a, of a unit. A bit of a sneak peek of an emergent faction, maybe, guys. And I can't say exactly where these guys are going to uh, pop out, because that would be spoilers. Um, which, for a video that's coming later down the line... But we do have the Indo-Greek Hoplites. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Shall I say it one more time? Yes. <laughs> I love these guys. I love the helms, the Bactrian-style helms that they've got on. Very cool. Look at those. Look at those um, those bronze plates with the different designs. So if I actually, if I don't select them. Look at the uh, at their feet and the uh, the pants they're wearing. Completely different from the Greeks, even though they're wearing the uh, this classic skirt. We've got Indian officers here as well, not Greek ones. Very cool, and I love these guys. They've got a bit of capage as well, lots of plumage. Oh, they just look so fantastic. I love the bronze look on all the shields as well, with all the unique designs once again, but in bronze. Just really makes it pop. They're a very shiny unit, aren't they? Very shiny. Gonna be reflecting a lot of sunlight, these boys. <laughs> but really cool unit. And these guys are fantastic. Fantastic, guys. So if you are in the Far East and you get access to these boys, get them. 39 defense, 9 armor, 22 defense skill, 8 shield, and 14 charge for a spear unit. It's ridiculous. They're very good. 60 morale and 14 melee attack for a hoplite as well. A glorious, glorious unit, honestly. A glorious unit. I love these guys. These guys are fantastic. So, without further ado, guys, let's move on to the last few units, and we'll just have to load up slightly different battle, battle maps per different unit. So, we'll see you there. So, guys, let's move back to Crete. And with the Lytian Archers for Litos. And again, the same stats as the Gortinian and the Gnosian Archers like we've seen. Uh, but yeah, a different faction again on Crete. So Crete is like mini Greece right now. Mini Greece. They're going to have a small battle royale while the big battle royale goes on on Greece. Really cool indeed. And these guys again, slightly different design. Few burnt oranges, a few, few blues and a few, a bit of a... Lighter red slash pink in there as well. And again, unique shield designs for these boys. We've got the big boar. The big boar ready to go as well. Very cool indeed. Next to them, we have the Lytian Agali. So again, the Agali like the Ephebes. And very similar again to the Gnosian Agali that we saw uh, that uh, have the same stats again. And again, just different designs for these boys. Just really nice looking units. So like every single faction just gets its own unique look and feel. So that on the battlefield, every battle is going to be different, is going to be unique. It's just so cool indeed. Now we move on to some places that aren't really factions, but more AOR regions. So let's start with Ancon, which is modern day Ancona in Italy. Sort of uh, Middle Eastern Italy. Uh, and the city of Ancon, you are going to be able to recruit these AOR Greek units. You have the Anconetan Archers, which is over here. And as you can see, decent armor apparently for these guys, even though it doesn't look like they do. Some of these stats again, guys, might get changed before release as well. But 6 morale, 4 melee attack, and 6 Missile attack. Not long-range missiles for these guys, though, but they are better than a standard Greek archer. So if you've only got access to a standard Greek archer, these guys are going to be better. Um, but yeah, 
decent defense as well. 21 defense for an archer is so much better than the Greek standard Greek archers. So yeah, really cool. Got their little helms on, ready to go. And next to them, we have the Ankeneton Hoplites. So Hoplites from Ancon as well. And again, unique design for these boys. Really cool indeed. These guys, these Hoplites actually have javies to throw as well. Two javies to throw. And we've not seen that very often with Hoplites. Normally it's the Theroporoi. So these boys get to be able to throw javies as well. Some nice plumage going on like we saw with the Italiotes. Um, as well. Very cool. Indeed. Really nice. Really nice. I love the shields once again. These little details are just glorious, aren't they? Just absolutely glorious. I do revel in this every time I have to make one of these videos. I love it. I absolutely love it. Really good defense. 35 defense for these boys. 14 morale, which is decent as well. 10 melee attack and 11 missile attack. So a bit of a different Hoplite unit. Again, look at the details we've got going on here. Fantastic. Love it. So a bit of a different, different Hoplite there with the Javis to get thrown. So let's move on to the Ionian Epibartai. So these guys will be able to be recruited in the Ionian area of Asia Minor uh, in Anatolia. So yeah, really cool indeed. And some very unique shields here. We've definitely not seen any of these shields before. Really cool indeed. And again, the Cretan Goat. The Cretan Goat has come back. Uh, but yeah, we've not seen any of these. Look at that. That is really cool indeed. A boar Pegasus. Nice, nice. And a man reading a scroll. Uh, but <laughs> I am a man! But anyway, four morale, seven melee attack, four missile attack. And yeah, these guys are slingers epa bar time once again. But 20 defense is pretty good. And they've got a lot of pinks going on with these boys. Really do like that color scheme. And again, a unique epa bar time unit to just add so much more flavor into the game so much more uniqueness and flavor a lot of these units are going to add and you're going to be fighting you know completely unique armies that do represent um what armies were like back then you know it you know a, a certain unit from a certain region would fight differently and have different equipment from other regions it just adds so much more depth into the game it's really cool indeed i love it i love it well on to the smyrnian Phoebes. And these guys will be recruitable from Smyrna only, uh, another city. And yeah, again, another Ephibes unit that adds more uniqueness into the game. But this is actually a really decent Ephibes unit with 29 defense, 20 defense skill. Really cool. 13 morale, 11 melee attack, and a couple of Javis with that 12 missile attack. So these are a pretty elite Ephibes unit. They've been training hard, training really well indeed. So, yeah, really cool unit. And again, more unique shield designs and a more unique look. Not much armor, so not going to do great against missiles, but they do have a lot of shield. But very good against armor-piercing units. This is an armor-piercing unit killer, guys. Because that armor-piercing is only taking away, you know, two of the attack, two of their armor. So, yeah, got to be a very good, uh, very good unit against armor-piercing units. Again, very nice to see. So, let's move on to the last two units guys and these two units are going to be for actual factions that we've already covered so check that out in the description down below but some extra units into these factions which i'm really excited to bring you so we'll see you there in a second so here we are on the last couple of units guys but if you have made it this far that would be fantastic if you like and subscribe because otherwise mr cherry will not be very happy with me so do like and subscribe otherwise i will be punished by mr cherry and no one wants to be punished by Mr. Cherry at all. But um, like I say, guys, these are units are just so fantastic and glorious, aren't they? So let's have a look at our last couple of units. Do comment down below your favorite unit as well that you've seen here. My favorite personally is the Indo-Greek Hoplites. I fucking love those guys. But anyway, on to the Rhodian Neoteroi. So an extra unit for Rhodes, and these guys are pretty much very similar to the Ephibes, they are the young Rhodians, ready to fight. And they've got really long spears, as you can see. And they're actually quite a cool-looking unit, quite unique, because they have no shield, guys. Zero shield. They just hold a spear. 
They hold the spear. They don't do phal phal uh, phalanx formation. But again, they just hold the spear and fight with the spear. But 13 morale, 10 melee attack, 24 defense. And all of that is defense skill. So these guys, are, again, are going to be a pretty good armor piercing unit destroyer and fighting at uh, fighting armor piercing units so really cool and again there's just a unique look to these guys without the shield it's so striking you know you're not you're so used to seeing the shielded units and it's quite interesting to see a unit that doesn't have the shield they just have the spear really cool i love them i really do love them they look fantastic don't they and let's have a look a nice little detail there on the clasp yes fantastic we love those details don't we guys but on to the Syracuse in roster that just has an extra addition of the Espido Foroi. Yes, the Espido Foroi. And uh, if we uh, do this, we should be able to see the Syracuse in the Espido Foroi. And they are a very good unit. 36 charge, 27 defense, 15 morale, 12 melee attack, and 11 alt attack. Really good unit. Really, really, really good for a cavalry unit, especially if you can get these guys early game. In case you're wondering about the differences between the different Espido Foroi, check out the previous video. We went into very much detail on the difference between Peltasts, Uzonoi, Akontistai, and all the different types of Espido Foroi. And honestly, these guys are really striking because there's so many golds in here. These gold helms with the silver. They just look stunning, don't they? And the also with the big plume at the top as well. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love it, guys. Love it. Fantastic. Fantastic. I can't wait to play with these guys because they just look great. I love the gold. It looks great. Really shiny. Hello, horse. How are you doing today? Well, got a sore back from this. Oh, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> but anyway um yes the syracusans very nice indeed very nice and i ah, just love the detail once again you've got a very big head sir very big uh, yeah love that that helm has got to be ah, so good we've seen that on some of the bactrian helms i think as well really cool indeed so a really nice unit guys very cool indeed really fantastic unit but i love that i absolutely love uh this unit and all these units gonna add so much uniqueness into the game especially when you're fighting those small nations that we've talked about it's gonna be so fun to fight them now because they're gonna have so many unique units that you're not gonna see elsewhere and it's gonna really bring the world to life so guys that has been our ras weekend's uh, showcase of the new aor greek units number two because we have done a number one as well. Like I say, check that out. But guys, if you did enjoy, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.